Okay. So actually using ChatGPT with Blender is really easy. ChatGPT is able to work with Python. It's a type of scripting code that Blender can recognize to use to your advantage. Nice. With ChatGPT, it's a very advanced language tool so we can talk to it as if it's our pal. I've asked it here to make um, 3D models of monkeys. And you can see here it's done it quite happily and it's even given us the flexibility to edit the code as you will. Now all you need to do is download Blender. Just Google Blender and you can download Blender and install it for free. Once you've loaded Blender up, you'll be onto the main page here. Just to begin, just delete the cube and that's as ready to start. So we go to the top right corner, we can click scripting. Then click new at the top. We can now copy the code that ChatGPT has made and just paste it in. Click the run and the play key at the top. If you go back to the layout tab, you'll see it's created the 30 3D models of a monkey that we asked it to. Now it's not quite perfect, let's change it. Let's ask it to edit the script. So I've now changed, asked it to change the scale and rotation. And without hesitation, it's generated a brand new script for us to use to change these parameters. Now we just need to copy it. We'll delete uh, the old script and we'll paste in the brand new script. And you can see there, it's done exactly that. It's created all those 3D models. They're all in different rotations and different parameters and as if they're in space. Nice. Now, again, just asking it, I'm gonna ask it to create a new script, but this time we want the monkeys to be a bit more rounded. They're a bit more rigid uh, in this script. So what we want to essentially ask it to apply is a subdivision modifier. Uh, you don't need to know what that is. Just ask ChatGPT to make them smoother and it will know what to do. So just control Z, delete your monkeys, delete the script, put in your new script and click play. And once again, it will see what it's done. So this time it's created the 3D um, monkeys. They are a lot smoother. ChatGPT has forgotten to apply the part of the script where we wanted it to be a bit more random in positioning and rotation. So we asked it again to create a new script. And again, it's, it's apologized and it's created a new script. So like before, copy it. We'll go back into Blender again. We'll delete it all, paste a new script. And here we have it as we wanted. So we've got the random positions, rotations, and they're a lot more smooth. Now we can actually change the script um, value here. Now I've changed it to four instead of two to essentially make the monkeys appear a lot more smoother. You can alter that number as you want um, to add more uh, geometry to your monkey to make it essentially smoother. Now we, I like how this looks, but let's see what else we could do. And I'm gonna ask it now to color each individual monkey and I want them to be specifically red, blue, green, or orange. And let's just see what it does. So again, it's created our script. Let's just paste it in, see what happens. And straight away, you can see it's been a success. We've done the exact same thing, nice and cool, smooth monkeys, but this time there's different colors. Now, what I want to do is let's see if I can add some studio lighting to it. Let's make it a bit more uh, professional looking, see if we can get a backdrop. So again, I just ask it to create um, a studio lighting effect uh, with a backdrop with a backdrop for the background. So once again, it creates a script uh, in no time. We'll copy it through and see what it creates. So same idea, just load in the new script and we can see what it does. So look into the layout layer here. It does look a bit not quite perfect. Um, it has added a camera for us. It has added some lighting, um, but it's not exactly what we wanted to do. So we need to kind of edit this a bit ourselves. So what I'm going to do is essentially just click on the backdrop. Um, you can just use the plane tool over here and with the move tool on the left, um, you can just essentially move it to the position you want it to. So I'm going to move it back here. So it's behind all the monkeys. Um, pressing, pressing zero on your numpad will put you in position to the camera. If you go into the view and just um, make sure that the mouse moves to your camera, um, you can actually position the camera you want, where you want it to be. So here's fine just now. You can also obviously edit the position as much as you want. You can rotate it, you can move up or down. 
you can make the back drop a lot bigger, you can change the colour, um, of course you can add other um, areas of lighting in as well if you wish. Um, if you click the top right corner over here you'll be able to um, get an idea of what the lighting actually looks like, you can move the lighting panels yourself just to make sure they're maybe in front of the monkeys here, again just to make it look a bit more professional, um, but once you've kind of set this up you can actually just render this. Um, you can get a real good sense here of, of, of what ChatGPT can do for your Blender project. As I say, literally in a matter of a couple of minutes, I've created this uh, without doing literally anything. I've maybe added a, a few new positions of lights and uh, maybe scaled up the backdrop. But apart from that, I've created a, a really cool project without doing anything at all. The scope for ChatGPT is, uh, is amazing. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Please make sure you like, comment and subscribe.